Welcome to He Is Risen Broadcast with yours truly, Elder Joseph Pusley. We are here live at Lane Stadium. I've been having a little late start because they will not let us in the gate. There's a lot of people coming. This is the Shores Bulldogs going against the Sullivan Tigers. We are here live at Lane Stadium. And right now, the, the Tigers have overturned the ball. I mean, lost the ball, so it's now Bulldogs ball. And they are setting the shotgun formation. He takes off. He runs. He still stopped. And that will be... That will be third down. We just missed a little bit of it. So give you a recap on what happened thus far. Thus far what happened was um, they kicked the ball to the Tigers and the Tigers lost the ball. So this is where we at now. So now we are third and five. So the guys to look out for today of of um, the Bulldogs, the Bulldogs primary target is primary target is possibly number five, number one, number 29 and number seven from my understanding and for the tigers we have number three um number 352 number 13 number one and if there's any more i missed out i apologize but now there are enough shotgun sh shores are in the shotgun formation he hikes the ball he throws a screen a bubble screen number four takes off he goes and he gets a blast is complete and he gets the first down. Number four gets the first down off a bubble screen play. That, that is the first time off a bubble screen. Yes, this broadcast is brought to you locally by Just Like Mama's Catering, GMB Enterprise, A Taste of Homeless Cafe, and and lively RMT Lively Service um, Transportation. This. So, so, those are our sponsors for today's game. The office is set. Number four is in motion. He hikes a delay. Oh, he takes the ball for himself. He, he goes and he's dog tackled down. He is tackled down. Let me get down from here because it is... He picks up seven yards on that play. They break off the. They are out of the huddle. They're set. Hit a shotgun. He hikes it to number four. And what a stop by the Tigers. What a stop by the Tigers. That will be third and two. That's third and two with after that tackle on the play. So here we go right here. We're setting up. We are setting up right now. Oh man, this is going to be a game to to watch. As they breaking off, the Bulldogs break, and the Bulldogs look like they're going to be in a shotgun formation with one running back and three receivers in shotgun. Number two hikes it. He takes the ball for himself with an open lane. He shoot and he oh he's going to whoa. There we go. He's down. He is finally down. He is finally down. And that will be a first down. That will be a first down. That will be a first down Bulldogs. With that with that motion, quarterback motion run, it will be a first down. And first set of downs, first down. And the ball is going to be at the 39-yard line, which is near scoring range. They're in the huddle. There we go. Now the Bulldogs are in the shotgun formation. Number one is, the, is a primary target. You know, whom I was told. And number four. And he, oh, he breaks up. Oh, he keeps going. 
but oh he's he's quick. oh no he's no he's still knocked down he keeps going he goes he shoots and he's always oh, finally down he picks up a good chunk of yards he changed a negative into a positive yards which that will be second down oh what a play by number four of the bulldogs but there is a flag on the play there is a flag on the play. And what the... I guess that they're going to take it back 15 yards. It looked like it was a holding on the play. So that big first down play, will that will be rewind back. And it will be... It will be... Um, the score is 0-0. Zero zero, so they're going to take this back. They will go back to the 40, so that was a 15-yard penalty. Number four kept on breaking, but it was a penalty. They show him blitz. Another bubble screen to number 11. He stays up. He's finally tackled. That will be second and long. They are still away from the line of scrimmage. Second and long. I'm looking forward for this Tigers defense. This defense last week against Mather Rangers, they, they stood on their ground last week. They didn't allow a lot of points at all. And, you know, they, they I'm looking forward to this defense once again. Will this defense will prevail and will, or will the Bulldogs offense will break this defense? That will be remain to be seen. And now it's second and 35. They are still in the shotgun formation. They are still in the shotgun formation. Then the shotgun. He hikes it. And there's a false start. It will be a false start against the Bulldogs. And that will be another five-yard penalty. So that's so they're gonna go back another five yards. It will be second and long. It will be second and long. And they're going to be at the 40, the 38 yard line. So second and long at the 38. So they're coming off. Number 52 showing they play in zone. A handoff. Sprint. Number four, and he's down. Number three. Number three with the tackle, or 13. That's a loss of a yard. It will be third and long. 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 They're set in a shotgun formation. The quarterback. And they're not going to. There's a pass. And, and he still catches the ball. He goes. Oh, and tips it. He goes. He finally tackled. Oh, my. After that tip pass, oh my, after that tip pass, that is a turn out to be a huge first down. What a play by the Bulldogs, oh my. What a play by the Bulldogs. That is a 44 yard pass, and it was a, it is a first down. It is after a coma. They are now at the 15-yard line, first and 10. They are now in goal, uh, um, scoring range. Number two, he keeps the ball, an uh, option. He, uh, he steps. He's out of bounds. Number two, the, he had lost a couple of yards, so it's going to be second. It is going to be second down. Hey. 
So what's happening is um, but this. Um, so they lost a five yard. That was a five yard loss. So it's going to be second down and fifteen. The defense is on the the defense. The defense is playing man coverage. Look like it's a man coverage. They in a shotgun, a shotgun formation. Another bubble screen to number four. He's trying to juke. He's he's, he's breaks the tackle. He keeps up going, and he's down finally. Yes. That will be third down. There's a loss of three. They'll be third and 13. They are, this is going to be third and 13, and it's going to be at the, the 18, 17, 17 yard line. Come back here. They're in a shotgun formation with one running back. He hikes the ball. He's on uh, number two. He trying to find an open man. And he's he breaks up and he's gonna be sacked for a loss. He's gonna be sacked. What a play by the Tigers. What a sack play. They needed that bag to get them out of field goal range. So it's gonna be fourth down. So it will be fourth down at the 35. And the that's going to be fourth and long. Are they going to kick a field goal or are they going for the So they're going to go for it. Look, the Bulldogs will go for it. At the 35 yard line, the Bulldogs will go for it. That's what a pair has looked like to be. They will go for it. And they're going to be in the shotgun formation once again. And that will be the end of, that will be a timeout. We are in score. The score is zero to zero. We are, we are, we are at the end of the first quarter. The score is zero to zero. So this is homecoming day for the Bulldogs. So the, uh, the announcement I have, so I got one announcement today. The announcement I have for this week, um, the announcement is on on this day, on tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Please join us at Brother Rice, where the Brother Rice Crusade is going against the Joliet Catholic, all the way from Joliet. Joliet Catholic will be playing Brother Rice on this broadcast, and on Sunday with WCIU, the U. Um, the UTV as well as here's Riz Broadcast will be broadcasting the Simeon. Yes, I said Simeon against Morgan Park at Gately Stadium on Saturday. And also to tune in for He is Risen as tune in for He is Risen broadcast. Tune in for He is Risen broadcast on one of these Sundays of, of October as Pastor Maurice Lavender's um, and Dominion Powers Church anniversary, and first year anniversary. That all that will be broadcast, and as well as our full broadcast, our John Rowe, Bishop John Rowe at First Rock, as well as Love of Christ, as as well as seven o'clock. So those are our schedule for this week. So now we are about to begin the second quarter where we're scoreless. Where we're scoreless and it's fourth down. It's fourth down and long. And the Bulldogs appears to go for it. The Bulldogs will go for it on fourth down. Mm -hmm. He puts the ball and it's going to go out of bounds. So they did put, they end up, 
they they ended up punting the ball. I thought they was going for it. So it will be indeed first down and 10 Tigers. Those of you joining us, this is the Shores Bulldogs homecoming against the Sullivan Tigers if you're just joining us. It will be at the 23-yard line, first and 10. With that, that, defensive, that defense from Tigers stood their ground after a turnover. So... So now it's first, it's gonna be first and 10. First and 10 at the 15. They're in a the split formation. The Tigers are in a split formation. Hands up to number 10. Number 10 gets a, gets a good walk. He, he's still going and he is down. That's a first down. What a run by number 10 of the first down by number 10. That, was a good, that will be first and ten. Split formation. Another run by number ten. He takes off. What a run! And he's down. It might be another first down. That's another first down by number 10. That's that's the second first run in a row. Oh, yes, this is what I'm talking about football. They're feeding him the ball, and he's getting first down. It'll be second down. They're in a split formation. They're in, a, they're in a split formation. I guess the um the chain crew. We have a issue. We have difficult issues with the chain. We have a night, a packed house tonight, and it's not too much of a packed house. They're trying to fix the chain. We're having some difficult issues with the chain. We are at second down. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are having difficulties with the... Okay, we're gonna get ready to resume. They had to just fix the chain to get everything in order. Um, there we go. We're okay. They are in a split formation with three wide, one tight end, two running backs. They set number two is in the motion. Number one keeps it for himself, and he grabs it, and it will be another first down. Tigers with the first down. First down, Tigers. And yes. Yes, as they get set. 
I can sit down, I guess. Okay, there we go. Much bet, much better. Okay, they're getting ready. They're setting up. They're setting up. Number thirteen. They doing a, a a swap, a reverse swap, and they are in the sh shotgun. I number two with a motion. He takes off. Number one again. And there will be a penalty on the play. There will be a penalty on the play. And it looks like it's going to be against Shurs. It will be against the Bulldogs. This penalty will be against the Bulldogs. So it will be a face mask, so that's another 15 yards. So the Tigers will be close to the goal line. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tigers will be closer to the goal line. They will be at the 29, though. They're almost close to the goal line after that penalty. Mm -hmm. He hikes the ball. He has the ball. Number six. Ooh, he breaks. He keeps going. And he has the... Yes, what a, I mean, not yes, but that might be a second down. That might be second down. That will be second and two. That was an eight yard gain. So it's going to be second and two. Mm. The Tigers are setting up, and uh, they're back at the split formation. They're at the split formation. The Bulldogs is playing. Look like they're playing the zone formation. He hikes the ball. Number oh, he gives up. He goes down. Probably a gain of one, maybe. Makes it third down. Mm. It'll be a third down. It'll be third and one. That was a gain of one. That was a gain of one. The Sullivan Tigers has a, the ability to to be a, a cohesive team. They are they are playoff state playoff eligible. However, they still got this game and their homecoming against, against Amsonda next next week, I believe. And he is risen will be there for that homecoming as well. You know, and um, so this team is is very much in the high standards of a state playoffs. But I, but they, we also do in, in Illinois, in Chicago, there's city playoffs as well. So they got to compete for that, I believe, to get qualified to even get a good spot in the state. So it's gonna be third and five. That's a five, y'all. It was a late flag. I didn't see the flag. Yeah. Uh, hands up to number six he go he keeps going and he is a first down that's a big first down so they'll be a first and goal number six, number six with the first another first down so this will be this will be first and goal well, they will be at the goal line. The Bulldogs need to make a statement. They got to. They got to. Got to find a way to stop that run. The Bulldogs cannot allow this score to happen. Happen. So it's going to be first and goal. First and ten at the. Number two. Got a couple of yards. Uh, number two with the with the ball carrier. So they're in a break. So it's gonna be second and five. Second down and six. So that was a gain of four yards. 
Sullivan's in a split formation. Number 10 with the... He goes around and he... He goes around and that might be third and that might got a... He got a couple yards so it will be third down and two. Number one on the Bulldogs makes the tackle. So it's going to be third and three. And it looks like it's going to be at the possibly. It's going to be third and three, ladies and gentlemen. They are now set up in the AI formation, split formation. And it looks like it's a coachman on the defense, which that's going to be another five-yard penalty, which that will result a first and goal if this penalty stands. And it will be first and goal because that is a five-yard penalty. That is a fresh, so it's first and goal, fresh set of downs. So it's going to be third and short now after that penalty. So not quite a fresh set of downs as of yet. The, Bulldog, the Bulldogs showing blitz. Hands out to number six. And he's... He's in for the touchdown. That is a touchdown. That is a that is a touchdown. Touchdown Tigers. That is a touchdown. Now the PAT. Kick up on me, kick up on me. The office had to ball this entire time. That is a touchdown by the Tigers. And we're gonna find out if they're gonna they're gonna make this field goal. Number six with the score. It sets. The kick is good. The kick is good. We are now at seven. The seven Tigers at zero. The, and zero the Bulldogs. What a play by the by the Tigers as they took the ball. They went down from the goal line of the Bulldogs. They took the ball away, and, and and the Bulldogs punted. And now we are dead at seven. We are here live. This is we are live. So right now we are here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please join us tomorrow night. Brother Rice against Joliet. Join that game tomorrow night. It's going to be an awesome game. It's going to be an action-packed game. It's going to be uh, a high score. Game. I'm expecting that to be a high score, not a low score. I'm expecting that game to be low, high scoring. So join us tomorrow and join us Saturday, Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. at Gately with the Simeon Wolverines against the Morgan Park Mustangs. Time out, Tigers. Time out, Tigers. We'll call a timeout. So once again, this broadcast is joined by um, Just Like Mama's Catering, all the way in Hillside and, Butter and Butterfield Road. Hillside and Butterfield. Please go get you a good meal at, at um, please get you a good meal at um, Just Like Mama's Catering. Also, if you are, if you want to serve the homeless and speed the homeless and want good food, join Taste of the Homeless with Chef Michael Earhart. And also, too, if you want live, if you want to go traveling through the Midwest, please contact my friend Mike Auxiliary Bishop. I said clear Auxiliary Bishop John Rose Senior at RMT Lively Service. They go Six Flags. They go to Wisconsin, wherever you want to go, funeral service, etc. RMT Lively Service. So tune tune in for that. So those are our sponsors for He Is Risen broadcast. And now we're about to get ready for kickoff. Hey, 
the getting ready for the kickoff. Kick his go, kick his off. Hey, he grabs the ball. He goes around. Hustle, oh, he's hustling. He's going, he's going to go. Woo! There he goes again. He's finally down. He is finally down. What a play, what a play, what a return. By number one, what a return by number one. Oh my, what a return. He, he did it. He, oh my, that's what you're talking about. A good run, good hustling. Both of them, but that was a good hustle on the special teams of the Bulldogs. It will be first and 10. Yes, first and 10 at the. Oh my. First and 10 at the. First down. First and 10. First and 10. Yes, we are live at Light Stadium. They're now in a, a split formation. The Bulldogs are in a split formation. They shorten. He has the ball up. He, he is down. Maybe no gain on the play. Or if that one. Second down. It will be second down and ten. There was a no gain on the play. So now it's second down. There and now they're still in a they're in a, a split formation. They showing blitz. He number two and he number fifty two. He breaks that tackle and he oh he gets some good he gets some good yards. It will be a first down. He gets good yards. He will. It will be a first down. Number two picks up some good yard of the field. He will get the first down after that option run. After that option drive, it will be first and ten Bulldogs. What a play by number two keeps in the ball for himself. They're in a split form. He has the ball to. And he. Down. He is. What a play by the defense. Number 51 with the tackle, and I think number 30 shares the tackle. So that will be second down. That will be second down. No, it's actually not third down, it's second and ten. Because that was a first down. So it's second down and ten, Bulldogs. Well, right now, at the same time, the Bulldogs are actually running the ball effectively with screen blazes and option quarterback runs. You know, but they the Bulldogs going to have to try to close it out. They got to try to close it out. And, you know. So they're in the eye. He has the ball. He keeps the ball. He keeps the ball for himself again. And he breaks the tackle. He's finally down. This number two guy is number quick. No one told me about him. That will be a lost on the play. So it's going to be a 10-yard loss because it was a set. So it's a 10-yard loss on the play. So this is going to be third and long. This defense of the Tigers is playing like they playing it all. They playing. They playing. They playing like they playing their last game of the season. There's they're set. He another. Uh, op another option run. And he will be down. 
Fourth down, he will be. He lost. They will be. They will call it. though. Tigers will call it timeout. They got. They got one timeout left. But it will be fourth down. It'll be fourth and long. They're way beyond, behind the line of scrimmage. This game right here, it, it looked like it seemed like it's one-sided. They have two minutes left. And the score right now, those of you joining, the score is 7-0. Seven 7-0 to zero. Seven to zero is the score. And the Tigers have seven, the Bulldogs have zero. There is no halftime show. I don't think it is. So now, this is. So now we are. Um, what we at? So. So it's fourth and long, and it, it, uh, it's fourth and long, and is the Bulldogs going for it on fourth down, or are they going to punt the ball? They will be punting the ball. Number three is to return. Number three is to return. He had a spectacular game last week against Mather Rangers, and he's back today. The ball, he... Number three takes it. So now it's going to be first and ten Tigers. So it's going to be first and ten at the 30. The defense, the defense of the Tigers has been standing on their ground again like they did last week. I can't see that clock, but I believe. The Tigers. The Tigers are in a five wide set. They're in a five wide triple set. They're in a five wide set. High the ball, number one. Number two with a catch, a bomb catch. He goes 10, 20, 30, touchdown Tigers. What a play by number two. Oh my, number two with a big old, with a big, oh, number two with a big drive. He, he throws a bomb with that five wide set and he scores a touchdown. What a play, what a call by the coach of the Tigers. That is now 13 to zero. What a play, oh my goodness. They took a chance and went deep. Number two with the, with the stop, oh my. That is what a play, what a play the Tigers. Oh my goodness. That's how you shut a crowd up. The Tigers would have. Oh my, what a play. Let me remind you, he is risen broadcast. is very neutral. The kick is good. Let me remind you, we're not rooting for nobody. We're not, I want to I want to be mindful. We're not rooting for nobody. He is risen broadcast. It's very neutral. Everybody gonna get this share. It was just a good play. That was a spectacular play and a spectacular throw from the quarterback to number two with the deep ball. And now we are set. The score is Tigers 14, Bulldog 0. Let me mind you, this is homecoming. This is a homecoming for the Bulldogs. Now, what happened in this case, 
What happened in this case, the Bulldogs, the Bulldogs. So now they're on the kickoff. So number four is at the back to, to return for the Bulldogs. This is a good, this is a game. Oh, 13 with a booming kick. And he is, that will be a touchback. He is in the end zone, so it's going to be first and 10 at the 20. It will be first and 10 at the 20. First and 10 at the 20. It was a touchback. Will Coach Dickinson and the coaches staff will, will, will do it again on the defense? Will they do it again on the defense? Or does... The, or the Shores Bulldogs have a trick up their sleeve to get a scoring drive going. Can they get a scoring drive going? But it'll be first and 10 at the 20. It'll be first and 10 at the 20. The Bulldogs will have control of the ball. It's, it's live. It's live, but I, when I get finished, I'll rewind it to you, and I'll send it to you as soon as possible. I got you. Okay, so they're now, the Bulldogs are in a split formation. They hike the ball. Number one, he's trying to take, he's, he, he's finally down, he gets a big chunk of a first down. That will be a first down Bulldogs. Number one, who I heard big things about him, but but number number 29, seven, and, and the other ones I was told, they're pretty quiet today, and that's probably why the, 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 the Tiger defense is holding them back. Number one with the motion, a, a flea flicker, a reverse, and he's out of bounds. He did a trick play, a flea flicker trick play, and, a, and another reverse, but that's still not enough for the first down, so that's like a gain of three. So it'll be second and 10. So it'll be second and six. But from back here, it looked like it was three, but they said second and six, so I believe it's second and seven. But uh, anywho, they're flipping the play. Both receivers, eight and one, are in motion. Hands the ball. Number two. And he, he drops the ball incomplete. He drops the ball incomplete. Oh my, that was a touchdown. He drops the ball incomplete. So that's going to be third and six. That was a play. It was a beautiful play. It's just the ball was not complete. It was a beautiful play. I have to give him that. So it's going to be third and six. Third and six. Okay, they are now in a, a I formation with three wide. 
has the ball. And he's down by number two with a tackle. What a tackle, and they, that will be fourth down. Number two with another big tackle. Number two with a tackle. After that, big touchdown play, and now he makes a big tackle to give them fourth down. So it's going to be fourth and one. Fourth and one. And it looks like the Bulldogs will go for it. They got they, they, the quarterback still they will go for it. They're in the eye. He's quarterback sneaks number two. And he is down. He is down and will be turned over on downs. Well, I did again. No, it won't be turned over on downs. Because he, he, he had that was enough for a first down. It will be first and ten Bulldogs. I don't know how many seconds we have because this clock is not working properly at all whatsoever. But the score is is 19 seconds. Okay, 19 seconds. The score is 14-0. The score is 14-0. Tigers. We have a decent crowd today. And the reason why I'm on this side because I'm very loud and I'm broadcasting and I'm trying to give my analyst and I'm trying and I speak very loud so I'm trying my best to I'm really trying my best to be quiet so I'm on your way side however I'm not on nobody's side because I'm a broadcaster. So again join us tomorrow night join us tomorrow night. Brother Rice against Joliet. Join us tomorrow night. Join us tomorrow night. Joliet against Brother Rice. That will be a, I expect that game to be a high scoring game. And I'm not going to tell you who I won, who, who's going to win, because I can't do that. But this will be a good game. There in the eye. Number two hands off. And interception. Interception. Number three. Number three with the interception. On a defense. Number three. Number three with the interception. Number three, who had a who? Number three with another interception again last week. He last week he did it again last week, and he did it again today. Number three did it again today with that interception. So that would give. It's only a few seconds left of the clock. I'm not sure if there's another game. If it is, I'm staying after for another one. Take the knee, and this is that will be the final play of the half. We are now at halftime. So we are now at halftime. So we are now at halftime. So we are now at halftime. We are now at halftime. For this game, for this for this game, look like it seemed one-sided. Um, so here's analyst. Here's what I think should happen for the uh, for the uh, for the game. So um, the Bulldogs 
they got to complete the ball. They they must have better ball handling. They must uh, be more stern on their defense. With their um, um, be stern on their defense, and they need to move the ball more effectively. Um, so that's what's going on with that, um, as far as I'm concerned. Also, too, the the, the defense of the of the Tigers are are stern. However, they need to um, wrap up their tackles a little bit more. Um, they need to do more big plays, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those are the keys. Those are the keys to um, to victory for uh, both squads. Bulldogs must Bulldogs cannot have a give up spirit. They must complete the ball, and they must um, they must. Um, Handle the ball and the Tigers, good defense, but they need to wrap up, wrap up and tackle them, and um, and be and they are more effective, but make more bigger plays on the offense. So that's it. That that, that will be it. That will be my um my post. So having that being said, I don't know what game this is coming up next. Hopefully, I may able to catch it. Uh, I may depends how how how. How, how much my battery can take. So that's what's going on. That's what's, that's what's going on right now. Um, we are we are here live again at Lane Stadium. So we're here and um, yeah. And that that that's it for right now. We are at halftime. We have 17 minutes. Um, tune in on next. Tune in tomorrow's game. Tomorrow's game, tune in tomorrow's game. The Brother Rice Crusaders against the Julia Catholic. Um, the Julia Catholic. Um, I don't know their mascot. But that that, that game will be 6 o'clock. So having that being said, we're going to turn it back to the field. We're going to turn it back to the field. And I guess this is their homecoming. Six nothing and field over the right side. One to the bottom of the field. So now we're gonna recognize our senior pure full out football player. So now they'll be all four years and So we're gonna watch this halftime show with Shores. Here at Lane Stadium. So let's start first. We're going to start with number 26, Isaac Salgado. And Isaac is being escorted by Patrick. And Derek Holmes. And of course, also on the field is the athletic director. And then the basketball coach. Next up, we've got number 39, Madden Hamarsha. Madden Hamarsha, number 39. That's Madden Hamarsha, M A H D I, if you're wondering. Right now the score is 14-0. We are at, at halftime. Next up is at number 20, Jason Vargas. Come on down. Do you recognize? Jones <laughs> made a lot of tackle for the Bulldogs. Next up, number 22, Matthew Elkana. Mom is with him. Looks like Dad was with Jason, uh, and I think Dad was with uh, Marty Hamarsha. Next up, we've got number 58, Sean Marine, or Sean Marin.
Excuse me, what team are you guys from? What team are you guys from? What? Uh, Rough Riders, Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Yeah. This is college or high school? Uh, no, it's high school. Who y'all playing against? Uh, Chicago Academy. Uh, Chicago Academy. Uh, okay, no, I'm broadcasting this game, so I'm trying to figure out should I stay and broadcast this one as well, since I'm already, yeah. since I'm already here. <laughs> Noble Academy. Okay. Well, we may do another game. We may do another game. I believe that's Chad. One of the great serves as his side guard. Or actually one of our three. Next up, number 53, Joshua Keepworthy. This is homecoming and senior night, I believe, for the Bulldogs. So we're 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 waiting on the honorees for today. Join us next Friday night when we um Sunder against Sullivan for Sullivan's homecoming. Join us on that day. Oh, join us for that homecoming game. But tomorrow night, join us tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, it's gonna be a big one tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, where the the brother Rice, the brother Rice, Crusaders against the Joliet Catholic, don't know their mascot, and that game will be at six o'clock. Live at Brother Rice on this broadcast. Saturday at 1 p.m. He is risen broadcast, and I just found out with WCIU the U will be joining, even though I won't be working by their side. 
but that game will be the Morgan Park Mustangs against the Simeon Wolverines. That will be Saturday at 1 o'clock. Looking forward for that game. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, beautiful Saturday afternoon. And then join us for Pastor Maurice Lavender and, and Lady Couture's Lavender Dominion Powers uh, Church's first year anniversary. That will happen on that will that will indeed happen on all this month of October, all Sundays of this month. Here's Risen Broadcast gonna be doing their best. Gonna do their best to broadcast that as well. Is the Are you down there? Coming to the Is somebody else racing down here? Then, um, this is a cloudy, this is one cloudy day in Chicago. It rained earlier today. Look at, let's look at this, while we, look at this beautiful Chicago skyline right here. Beautiful Chicago, cloudy and everything. Beautiful skyline in Chicago. Yes, we are here at Lane Stadium. Beautiful skyline, homecoming, gloomy night. As the Bulldogs get warmed up, we will be ready for the second half. Getting ready for the second half shortly. I'm required for the game period. I'm required for the game period. This is his reason. I'm his reason broadcast. I'm Joseph Pugh. I'm the founder of my broad of the broadcast. So let me explain, because the security guard just asked me if I'm recording for a school. Let me explain one more time. This, this broadcast is very neutral. We only broadcast because He Has Risen is a platform. He, he is risen as a platform. Just in case the, the television, the local television won't record it, he is risen broadcast we record. We're here to encourage the youth and and, and social justice and, and ministries. That's what he is risen the broadcast is about. We've been about this business and we're gonna stay about this business. So this is why we recorded it. Having that being said, we will start the second half. It looks like we're we're we got a rain coming in. And we're going to stay as long as we can. I got on my sweater. The rain is coming down. Oh, my. Just like what we asked for. 
Just what we asked for. I can't put my hood on because I'm recording. We're about to start the second half. In a few moments, we have some rain coming in. But we're going to be all right. I go to church in the rain. I go to church in the snow. In the snow so I don't see no problem me leaving out of here. As long as no lightning coming, we, we, we'll be all right. We don't have a game Thursday, but next Thursday we don't have a game as of yet. Oh my goodness! Okay. I pray this phone don't go out. I got it. I think. I, I think we're gonna have to stop this. I believe we're gonna have to stop this. I think we're gonna have to stop this. We'll get back to you once this rain has died down. So we're gonna have to stop this for right now.